Today we're hiking the subway from the bottom up. From the trailhead, we'll descend into the canyon and follow the stream to the subway. From there, we'll wade through the water into the waterfall room. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, about 8 a.m. Um, here at Zion National Park. We're doing a hike called Subway. The Subway. It's a very chilly morning. Yesterday we went out and we rented these dry suits. So they keep us dry. They say give about five to six hours for this hike. From the bottom up, you walk up the stream, turn around, you come back. And what else can you say, Matt? Oh, we're gonna do it in four. Okay, ambitious. So the subway and the narrows are both big hikes and we wanted to do them both on the same day because we had rented the dry suits and we only wanted to pay for them for one day and we had to get them back to the renter by 7 p.m. and so we started this hike early and we were trying to make good time so that we could get back and do the narrows before nightfall. I farted in my suit a while back and they say when you fart in these things the fart stays inside of you all day long. They do. They say that. So it might be smelling nice and ripe after this. Okay, we made it down into the canyon, and basically we're gonna follow it upstream. It takes us to the subway. It was challenging. It was super cool. Like down when you're down in the canyon, it was tons of jumping on rocks and jumping across uh, little streams and waterfalls and rivers. Hiking with Anderson is different every day. <laughs> Today he was in a goofy mood and wanted to prove how strong he was by lifting the world's heaviest rock. <laughs> Maybe we had fun on this hike. We were just doing goofy shit. He also attacked me with an icicle and tried to bring home a piece of ice as a souvenir. What are we doing this now? It's kind of like a small child. Just have to keep one eye on him and one eye where we're going at all times. At least I'm not wearing sunglasses today. <laughs> nice. <laughs> My boots are dirty. So we get to this part where there's a whole bunch of little tiny waterfalls and it was really cool. Uh, the rocks were super smooth and you could like kind of slide on them. It almost looked like one big water slide with a couple different shelves. It was a little slippery. Um, but it was just really nice to be to be able to walk through the water and have your feet like warm and your body warm. You don't have to worry about getting your shoes wet. This is sweet. The subway is called the subway because when you get to the end, there's these these tunnels, kind of like this, and they kind of make turns and you're kind of walking through them. I assume it's from erosion of water flow, like from water flowing for thousands of years. As we got into the subway, we're like in the middle of the tube, there are these random holes. So Anderson, I think was trying to trick me to get me to fall in these little pools of water. He wanted me to check how deep they were. Uh, the first one I got into wasn't too bad, it was maybe knee deep, but then the second one, I could barely touch the bottom. It was basically right up to my neck, so I wanted to make sure I didn't let any of that water, chilly, chilly water, sneak into my suit. So at this point, we see all this water we're walking and it's gonna get really deep. So we ditched the backpacks with the electronics, didn't want them to get wrecked, and uh, we made our way into this little ravine or whatever. So where are we going? down <laughs> that way. Oh, this is so cool. It was awesome because we didn't uh, we didn't get wet. We were wearing these dry suits, so as long as we didn't go up to our necks, 
Even if we did go up to our next, technically it should keep us dry, but. should have been more careful with where we put the bag. I don't know. Well, we just finished the subway and had a few minor, got a little cold, minor obstacles. Dropped my backpack in the water, <laughs> full of all my warm clothes. And electronics. And electronics. <laughs> we think we saved it. <laughs> yeah, I think we got there just in time. Matt's and hands on my gloves off. were in there. Oh. <laughs> Tune in to ETA next time for another epic trip adventure. I had a tragic accident this morning and dropped my backpack in the river, so my gloves are not super usable. And it's not that warm out, so my hands are really cold.